Who is Muhammad? Peace be upon him. He is a human, not a demigod, nor a son of God. He himself said, He was human. I am a human like you. Related by Al-Bukhari 401 and Muslim 573. And as God ordered him to, he informed people of this. Say, قل إنما أنا بشر مثلكم يوحى إلي يوحى إلي أنما إلهكم إله واحد فمن كان يرجو لقاء ربه فليعمل عملا صالحا ولا يشرك ولا يشرك بعبادة ربه أحدا. But he is the most influential human being in the history of humanity. We have received a full documentation of his life. No documentation of any other person's life in history approaches his in accuracy and comprehensiveness. If anyone wants to attack 1.7 billion human beings, he attacks him first. And if a Muslim wants to call people to Islam, he begins by telling his life story. He's a man who was born in the 6th century AD, but his influence still exists today in every corner of the world. He's a man who fought battles in which he received head injuries, and his front teeth were broken. Yet he was a model of modesty. He is the one who was victorious in most of the wars he fought against his enemies, and at the same time, the one whose most bitter enemies came to believe in his message. He was the one who, with his followers, was subjected to savage oppression and torture. And when he was victorious and gained absolute power over his enemies, pardoned most of them. He was the one brought up in an ignorant society, where stones and trees were worshipped, which indulged in every vice. But he never tasted alcohol, gambled, or fornicated. When the words, the honest and trustworthy, referred to a particular person, those who heard them knew that they referred to Muhammad. Peace be upon him. He was the man who believed in Jesus, peace be upon him, and whose followers believed in Jesus, and he was the one whose coming Jesus foretold. He made justice a reality in human society, stating that no Arab had any privilege over a non-Arab, or no white person could claim a privilege over a black one, except through being God-fearing and their good deeds. He bent his knee for his wife to step on in order to ride her camel, and this at a time when women were treated like slaves. He was the one who decreed compassion even to animals and forbade the cutting of trees even in war. So, it's no surprise that he was described as a mercy to all the worlds. He is the seal of the prophets and messengers. But... Have you surfed the internet and found attacks and outrage? Have you seen derogatory cartoons? Have you seen slander and suspicion, accusations without any basis? This is not strange. Ever since the day Muhammad, peace be upon him, was sent to the world, his tribe, the Quraysh, placed men at the gates of Makkah with one mission, to spread false propaganda against Muhammad peace be upon him, to every visitor to the city. They even sent men to neighboring tribes to warn of the danger of Muhammad, peace be upon him. These hired mercenaries still live among us. You see them on TV channels, websites, and social media platforms. You can either give your mind a permanent vacation and let these people shape your consciousness in any way they please, or you can make a decision to listen to Muhammad, peace be upon him, so you can learn the truth about him for yourself. It's a decision only you can make. <laughs>